Welcome to Hometown East. You know, I'm your boy Marlo Dunn, bringing you hidden gems right around your corner. Today, we found a brand new spot all the way down in Miller, Michigan. Bone Daddy's, 3216 Bay City Road. We got Kim and Bill, the owners of Bone Daddy's. Listen, it's about to go down in a major way. If you're a vegan and a vegetarian, again, this might not be your episode because we finna have brisket, we finna have ribs, we finna have chicken, we finna. I'm just, listen, my heart is beating and I'm just getting excited just thinking about the barbecue. I wanted some barbecue so bad yesterday, but I ain't get one. Just could the brother get a burnt hot dog. Couldn't even get a burnt hot dog. But we finna get some ribs, some chicken, and everything today. So listen, come check it out with us. If you want some barbecue, hit them up. Let's get it. When you're hungry and you're looking for somewhere to go There's a place down the street not too far from home So jump in your car, you don't have to go too far I'll show you the way Hometown Eats Hometown Eats Hometown Eats Hidden and Jim's found right around the corner All right, welcome back to Hometown Eats. I'm your boy Marlo Dunn. We got the owner right here of Bone Daddy's, Mr. Bill Wall. How you doing today, Very, very nice. Yes, very nice, sir. Man. Listen, I just want y'all to be ready for what's about to happen. I'm going to let Bill explain himself a little bit to you because I'm going to just get too excited. I'm so ready to eat. Come on, Bill. Tell them who you are, man. What's uh, going on? Well, my name is Bill Wall, and I own a company called Bone Daddy's Barbecue. Um, I'm 55 years old, and I've been cooking for about 40 years. Right now, I'm the only four-time world champion and winner of the biggest barbecue show on the planet Earth. <laughs> Right now, I am the Mac Daddy. I beat Byron Mixon a million times. I, I was I was starting barbecue when the KCBS wasn't even born yet. So, and I got into barbecue through my dad. My dad had a very successful company, and him and a bunch of other guys kind of start, started up the whole KCBS thing. Uh, originally, it was called the Kansas City Bull uh, Society, but uh, there's some other names for it as well. But my dad started Kansas City barbecue and competitions and things like that way back in the day, uh, back in 79, 78, somewhere around there. And I've been cooking since I was about 12 or 13 years old. I got some barbecue pits out back. I thought I'd show them for you. Oh, yeah. Uh, right now, we're not doing a whole lot of use with them. I just pulled out everything I had going for this morning, for uh -oh. this afternoon. Uh-oh. But I've got a, co a conviction oven here. I do a lot of my muffins and pies and pecan Ooh. things and, you know, stuff like that. Here's one of my barbecue pits here, Ooh. and uh, this barbecue pit here is called the 700, and I can do about a thousand pounds of meat in here, um, about every uh, about every four to five hours in this particular pit right here. And uh, I use a lot of wild cherry, a lot of sugar maple. I've got yeah. shag bark hickory, but it kind of depends on what I'm cooking and what I'm doing. If I'm doing pork loins or prime ribs or you know, it just it, everything changes up if I'm smoking turkeys or if I'm doing holiday ham. So there's a lot of things that go on with these barbecue pits. But as you can see, I actually have five of them. Here's one of them. Here's another one right here. And uh, then as we go down the line, there's still a couple more. Yeah, guys. Listen. But how these work, I'll show, uh, if you want to see right around back here, I'll show you how this works. Let's go around this side over here. I got wood on this one here. Listen, well, as you can see, this ain't your regular Sunday barbecue right here. This is barbecue on a whole nother level right here, man. Hey, listen. We just been back there looking at barbecue pits and smokers. I just want y'all to see what's about to happen. We got this chicken right here, this barbecue chicken. We got the ribs. Award-winning ribs, let me tell you. These championship ribs. And then we got brisket. Award-winning brisket. Listen, hometown East just went to a whole nother level, man. When you get award type stuff, we just went to a whole nother level. A whole nother level. All right, listen. I know this is about to be good, so I got to pray because I need the Lord to keep me from cussing because I don't want to do that. So let's bow your head. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to say thank you this evening for the barbecue that's about to be consumed. We want to say thank you for all of the hickory and the, and the cherry wood that's been burning and the, and, the, and the roasted and everything that's been burning all night long. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I just want to say thank you. Oh, I feel something right there in that key. I don't know what key it is, but I know 
soon. It's about to be good. Now, let me get out of here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get it. Let's get right, it. Here. We got right here. Well, here's a little. I see you don't have any sausage sampler on there oh, and, and pulled pork. So I brought you some oh. more. Oh. And we make our own sausage here. I smoke it here. We do, Listen. obviously, all of our own yeah, dishes. We finna, we finna see what, that is Bill, what is Bill trying to do, man? I got to go over here first. Let me go to the pulled pork. Let me try this pulled pork, y'all. He said it's been roasting all night. We're going to see what he's talking about. See, it got the Bone Daddy signature sauce on it. Let me blow it a bit. You see the steam? Ooh. Yo, listen. This pulled pork is so juicy and so sweet and tender. It's like. It's like butter, baby. It's like butter, baby. It's like butter. I gotta get out of here, bro, but I can't stop going back in. Look at you get a You get a hamburger bun and put this on the bun, bro. Mmm. 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 Let me show y'all something about this. These are homemade made sausages. They make their own sausages, man. Who you know making their own sausages? Bill don't buy these. Bill and Kim don't buy these from nobody. They make their own sausages. We gotta see what they talking about, y'all. We gotta let you know. We gotta let you know all about the sausage, yeah. And we don't take no small. We don't take no. We don't take no small bites. That's disrespectful for you to take a small bite. You got. To, don't take no small bite. Let me. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. You see all that sauce on there? Mm. Man, look. Man, look. Let me cleanse the palate a little bit. Listen, that's sausage. Y'all see, I don't know how to taste food and keep it moving. The sausage is nice and mellow. It ain't salty. It's so good. And the smoke on it is just right from the smoker. Smoke on it just right. I got to hit it one more time. I got to get in there oh, one more time. One more time, one more time. All right, I got to move on. I got to move on. I got to move on. Look at your neighbor and say, move on, move on. All right. I don't even know what to go to next. I, let me get a couple sides out the way. Let me get a couple sides. Who don't? Listen. This potato, so, this potato salad. This is that potato salad. You don't even ask who made it when you go to the, you know how you do. You be like, hey, who, who made the potato salad? Who made the potato salad? You be like, A.T. Rose made the potato salad. A.T. Rose potato salad be hitting. I'm gonna tell you about Bill potato salad. Bill potato salad on point. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go to sleep after this. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna get this blue cheese coleslaw. I've never had this before. So this is gonna be a first time. So hometown eats fam. You see Marvel have blue cheese coleslaw for the first time, we're gonna see what it said. And I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. You know, I'm gonna tell you the truth. Yo, listen. I don't even really buy for blue cheese, but this right here, this combination with the coleslaw, the cabbage, and the blue cheese is real mild and real mellow. It's like normally coleslaw be kind of sweet. Just give it, this is make it even right here. This is really good. If you like coleslaw, you'll love this. And you know, no barbecue is complete without the bake. 
beans. You gotta get the baked beans. Look at that, onions, peppers, little chops of pork up in here. And it got the smoke, and you can, it got the smoke in there too. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Stop low, stop low, stop low, stop low. All right, y'all. I should have brought somebody with me today. But you know what? I'm happy I didn't because guess what? It's going to the crib. <laughs> it's going to the crib. It's going to the crib. Let me get in this chicken right here. Watch this. This is how you can tell if it's good or not how easy it pull apart. You see that? Do you see that? Mm. High five your neighbor and say finger licking good. Finger mm. licking good. Yo, the sweetness of the barbecue uh -huh. on top of the chicken. The chicken is perfectly seasoned. I'm supposed to be trying some of everything, but I can't. I don't know how to eat cute on camera, y'all. Y'all forgive me. All right. I'm gonna say to yo, this chicken. I just want y'all to see this. I don't even know. I think this is a thigh, right? It's gonna be a whole chicken quarter. But this is what I want y'all to know, though. The chicken, the ribs, the brisket, all of this. Guess what? It's a whole sample. Fifteen dollars. One person can't eat all this. You can get your boo now. Come on down here. If y'all both like barbecue, get your boo. Come on down. Get in there. And then, Barbara, you ain't got to spend a whole lot of money to take your boo out. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Watch this. This is that brisket. This is award-winning brisket. Award-winning brisket. Brisket, man. I'm telling you, everything I have, it's the piece of the resistance. <laughs> the award winning ribs. All right, you fellas, you enjoy some of those ribs, all right? Yes, sir. Thanks, Bill, so much, man. Okay, guys. We finna get up in here, y'all. Y'all know I got to get in here. Listen, I just want y'all to understand, it ain't no cute way to eat barbecue. Like, all y'all people who try to eat cute and, you know, and, Ain't no cute way to eat barbecue. If you don't get, listen, if you ain't getting everywhere, man, it ain't good. But I'm gonna show y'all how to get up in here. We don't take them little small bites. We don't take small bites. That's disrespectful. You got to go in like you know what you're doing. You see how that? You saw how that just peeled away from the bone? Don't act like you ain't see that. Don't act like you ain't see how that just peeled away from the bone. You know how I am feeling away from the bone? I see why he been winning. Yo, I've been trying to be too cute in front of y'all. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to let you go. And I'm going to get back to demolishing all of this. But I want you to do, if you like barbecue, you love brisket, Sausages, chicken, ribs, potato salad, coleslaw. They got burgers, chicken tenders. The fries is on point. Come down here, Bone Daddies. All hometown eat fam. Get down here, 3216 Bay City Road, right here in Midland, Michigan. It's, listen, you won't be disappointed. Don't forget, go subscribe to the YouTube page, Hometown East TV. Go like the Facebook page, Hometown East. If your mama cooking is good enough, we'll come do an episode at your mama house. Hometown each one at Gmail. Email us. I'm about to get back to this. Y'all have a good day. Pray for your boy. Pray for your boy.